I want to bring up this last bullet point here. In a rising interest rate environment with expected cash flows in the future may be affected and carry trade could be disappointed. What do you say about that? This, you know, this, this asset class, we are banking on that carry trade, right? What do you think about that? Well, when I read that, Jamie Dimon was talking about those businesses that have a plan of either a project or their business or whatnot, where they're going to be borrowing in the future and having a certain expectation of what their earnings would be or their return on their investment would be in the future. And what the result of all of this in Jamie Dimon's mind is that you're going to see continued higher interest rates than what we were expecting before. Yeah. And so they're saying, you know, those evaluations that companies are putting for, what are they going to spend on borrowing costs in two years or three years? Yeah. There's a big risk that that's off and that it is going to be, it's going to be less earnings, right? Higher borrowing sense. costs. Yeah. So that's different than what we're talking about for our lovely asset class right here, because just like my Canadian friend was so fired up about having a 30 year fixed rate loan and was like, how do I sign up for one of those? Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, you can't, you got to live in America. We, you know, for most of us, I would imagine who are listening right now, you live in America and you can get a 30 year fixed rate loan. So that removes this variable that removes this interest rate risk in the future. Mm -hmm. And it holds your payment flat. While at the same time, if interest, if, inflation is here longer and higher than we want, that has this effect on rents where it tends to increase rents. And property prices too, right? And property prices, uh -huh. holding, holding everything else constant. So you're, this is a great example of how to take advantage of, the, of debt in an, in an environment where interest rates do have variability going into the future. You lock yours in right now. If inflation is higher and longer and stronger than we want, tends to have a positive increase on the price of rent. And that affects positive, more and more positive cash flow that comes to you over the years, as, as well as housing prices, like we talked about. Yeah, makes sense. Good explanation.